so I'm Chris Padgett, I'm a GSM hacker, and I'm here today to give you a little demo of some of my equipment. So let me start off uh, explaining what we've got here. So standard PC uh, running Ubuntu and uh, four shells on the on the screen. Let me just explain what these are. This is just a, a normal shell prompt. Nothing nothing glamorous about it. It's just bash. Um, this is asterisk. This is my uh, private branch exchange. It's fully featured asterisk. Asterisk. Um, it's actually providing my voice over IP backhaul connectivity. So when calls come into the system, they, they land in asterisk, and then asterisk sends them out as voice over IP across the internet. Um, third window down here, this is OpenBTS. So this is the, the, the open source GSM stack that I'm using. And then this fourth window here is my SMS center. This is my SMS queue manager. So anytime that there's uh, text messaging going around the network, this is the, the window that does it. Um, you can see here asterisk is just pinging the, the voice over IP backhaul uh, just to make sure it maintains a connection. In hardware terms, uh, the funnel happens with this little box. Um, this is the Universal Software Radio Peripheral, the USRP. Um, this is a software-defined radio system. So the idea is um, the, the, the modulation and the radio coding and all of that is defined in software. So by running a different application on the PC, I can run this as a GSM base station, an RFID reader, a Wi-Fi radio, a Bluetooth radio, you name it, I can do it with this device. So at the moment I've got this running a GSM base station. Um, let me just pull this up here so I can show you uh, what we, what's going on. Um, if I type Timsies into OpenBSC, you can see that I've got one IMSI connected and the Timsy that's been allocated to it by the network. That's my little test phone here. This is just a, a normal T-Mobile G1. Um, I've rooted it, but I've not modified the baseband in any way. Um, if I just unlock the phone, in fact, no, before I unlock the phone, um, I can show you on the screen, it, it has a network name of Test Sim. Um, I can actually make that say anything that I like. Um, at the moment, it's, it's saying Test Sim because it is a test network. So if I unlock the phone, um, you can see also there's a little R on the signal strength meter. Uh, that's to show that the phone is roaming. So as far as the handset's concerned, it's connected to a T-Mobile partner, and it's authenticated and ready to make calls. So if I pull up my dialer here, I can dial any number I like. So if I dial that, you can see the handset thinks it's dialing, asterisk traffic going by, it's establishing the call, uh, setting up all the various voice over IP parameters, and then the call here is ringing, so you can answer that. Hello, I'm at RSA. We have full voice connectivity. Um, we can. Uh, I mentioned that uh, the, the network is called Test Sim. That's for a very good reason. Um, the, the, that reason being, I'll show you here on OpenBTS. Um, if I type cell ID here, um, there's four parameters that come up: the mobile country code, the mobile network code, the location area code, and the cell identifier. So the two that are important are the MCC and the MNC. So you can see I'm running with an MNC MCC of 001001. That means that I'm a test network in a test country, meaning that GSM handsets should never connect to me by preference. If I was to change these values relatively trivially, um, I could change them to, for example, 310260. That's the uh, MNC MCC tuple for T-Mobile USA. If I was to set that configuration on the BTS and run it, all of the T-Mobile handsets in the area would connect to me as their strongest signal and send me all of their traffic. Because it's my asterisk server, I can then do whatever I want with that traffic. I can send all of your calls to 911, or as I'm doing here, um, I can lo just log the calls. So if I come back to my shell, You can see I've got a bunch of WAV files in here, and uh, I believe this one is the call that we just made. So I can play back the WAV file from, let's say, 1403. Um, and that's the full audio of the call. I don't know if you can hear it coming out of the speakers. It's, it is playing, it is there. Um, it's, it's a bit loud in here, so you may not be able to hear it. But 
essentially it is my asterisk server so I can do whatever I like. I've, I've you know, clearly recorded the call from a GSM handset to the main network. Um, and like I said, if I, if I spoofed an MNC MCC tuple with this, um, I could just harvest cellular calls from anyone in the area. So it's, it's really very easy to attack GSM. Um, this, this, this system uh, is known as an IMSI catcher. Um, commercial IMSI catchers go for about $100,000. I built this for less than $1,500. Um, all open source hardware, all open source software, um, and effectively it allows me to, to capture GSM conversations. It's uh, quite good fun.